90s baby. Hey guys, it's Missy. Welcome back. Today we are traveling back into the 90s to make this Furby cake, which I thought was so great because Furbies were first introduced in 98 and have since changed a bit to include voice recognition and a mobile app for the holiday season. This video is also a collaboration with a very sweet and talented Dania from Doki Cakes. She makes foods that are easy to create with a kawaii anime twist. Her stuff is so cute, I just don't know how she eats these things. Now today, she has also made a 90s inspired treat with these super kawaii Game Boy Color treats. I will leave all of her links, including her YouTube channel, and her tutorial for those treats down in the description box for you guys to check out. Now let's get started on this tutorial. I began by stacking three six inch round cakes and then adding half of a six inch round ball cake on top. I gave this a nice crumb coat before I realized that Furby's lower half curved in at the bottom a little, which you're going to see that this step really wasn't necessary later. Once I gave my Furby some curves, I crumb coated that area and then popped my giant pillow shaped cake into the fridge to chillax while I worked on my fondant pieces. The colors I'm using are pinky purple, black, white, bright orange, and red. Okay, so the food coloring said dark pink. I used the dark pink and it turned out like with a purpley hue. So, from now until the end of this tutorial, I am going to be calling that fondant pinky purple because that's what it is in my in my eyes. I blew up this furry picture and created this template to scale perfectly to my six inch round cakes. I will link this up in the description for you if you'd like to use this one as well. I cut around this whole section with that pinky purpley fondant. I rolled out some more of that pinky purpley fondant again, but this time keeping the fondant pretty thick so the ears don't kind of flop over when we go to put them up later. I inserted a toothpick into the bottom of each ear and set those aside to harden. Next up, I cut out his little unibrow from the template and then cut it out of my black fondant. I cut out two black circles and then used the center of this donut hole cutter to cut out the base of his beak. Next, I made the orange eyelids with my giant tip as a cutter and then cut off most of the bottom half. If you guys haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below as I make a new cake every Saturday and a smaller treat on Tuesdays. I popped out two white circles for the whites of the eyes and removed the tongue. I cut that out of red fondant and then adhered his unibrow and the base of his beak to his face with water. I added the whites and eyelids and then cut a flat piece at the top of each black pupil and adhered those and the catch lights with water. After rolling out what can only be described as a small skin carrot, I added some lines into it to give it a hairy looking texture. I made two of these and inserted a toothpick into one and set it aside. I snaked out some more pinky purpley fondant and pushed a coral wire through the center of both the second hairy carrot and the snaked fondant, which now we can officially call a tail of sorts. To really give this guy dimension, I cut out a thicker piece of pinky purpley fondant using Furby's goggles as a guide. I applied that with water, snugging everything up together, and stuck it to the front of my giant pill cake with water. I used this grass tip and some whole buttercream to drop little patches of his fur around his face and body. This is where I was telling you, I don't see much of a difference from the top to the bottom of the cake. To me, there is no roundness like that I was looking for. So you can kind of just skip that whole step altogether. It was a learning lesson for me. So this is where I kind of just stepped back and looked at the cake and I realized, hmm, his tongue is sticking out more than his beak. So therefore, is he sticking his tongue out? So I decided that we were going to go back and get some more orange fondant and do a second layer of fondant for his beak. So I cut out his beak with orange fondant and applied it above his tongue. For the bottom, I just snaked some orange fondant and applied it under the tongue. Much better. 
Finally, my favorite part of all my projects is putting everything together. So we're assembling all of the pieces onto this little fur ball to bring it to life. So I want to know, what do you guys think about Furbies? Are you a yay or a nay? Furbies are popular, you know, they get sold, they've been selling for years, decades, and I am really happy that I was able to make a Furby cake today for all of you. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget that this is also a collab with Danya from Doki Cakes, where she made these super kawaii Game Boy color treats. I will leave a link to that video and her channel down in the description box for you guys. So head on over, show her some love, and subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time when we make another inspired treat together. Bye-bye, guys.